So today we are going blonde. I'm using this really gorgeous full lace wig to go blonde, blonde, blonde. So let's start with the items we're going to need. You're going to need your lightener, aka your bleach. Most will use BW Bleach. I like the one from Ion and I pair it with the matching um, brand developer in the length or the, how do you say it, 40 volume developer basically. And that's going to be pretty much the highest um, volume you can get in the store and it's just going to make the color lift um, a little bit faster if you want to be more safe go with a 30 or a 20 um, and you just go ahead and add it to your bow and mix there is no exact measurements you can read the back if you want but um, normally I like to make it kind of like a creamy consistency that's the best I can um, describe it I'm going to be laying the wig flat on the countertop so I don't have to worry about if it's too like thick or too thin if you're going to be applying the color like with the wig on the the mannequin head as you see here um, you kind of want to make sure it's not too watery because it'll just keep dripping to the floor so this is the wig and how it looks really gorgeous full lace wig it comes with combs adjustable straps um, it's a full lace wig you can't get better than that it's 20 inches it came with baby hair um, it was nicely pre plucked this is what the back of the wig looks like so if you're parting it in the back you see what appears to be scalp now it does it does come in a deep wave texture so you want to make sure that you go in and brush it out you don't want the spiral curls while you're dyeing the hair just because um, you know there's hair in between the spirals and you want to make sure that you saturate the hair completely and making sure it's all um, combed out and detangled is the best way to do so now here I am sectioning the wig into three sections I find that when I just place the wig on the countertop and just try to go ham um, it's a little bit or actually a lot easier to miss a spot and we don't want that so I just literally sectioned off three sections like a top section the center of the head and then the back and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the back keep in mind that general generally speaking the area that you start to bleach first is gonna be the brightest um, especially when you are bleaching a full wig as I am it's gonna take a minute to get everything completely bleached so this is gonna start to process while I'm still bleaching the middle and the front you know what I mean so this is theoretically going to be brighter. If I did not mention this hair is deep curly in the color 1B. I believe it's 130% density so it's going to be a nice full yet natural look in the end. The hair itself was amazing. It didn't need to be bleached or anything done to it but you know I just wanted to switch it up. Now we're at the top and you guys can see because I did not protect um, each section as I bleached the other sections um, the top got um, a nice little um, you know highlighting situation going and it naturally happened on accident I actually like that because um, those little highlighted areas literally happen by chance um, and it turned out great for the wig ultimately and all I do is I apply the I take a section and I apply the bleach to one side I flip it over and apply it to the back like so and then once I do that I'll flip it back over and kind of find any spots where there is um, the hair still 1B and then I brush through it with this tangle te teaser brush that I always use when processing hair and I can kind of see what areas look lighter where you see an area look a little bit lighter or a little bit darker typically that's going to be the effect that the bleach has on it if that makes any sense so I just want to give it one nice last brush through to make sure everything is even now I'm going to go ahead and do the roots um, really don't know how to describe this basically you can just watch along I'm just going in and kind of um, stippling it feathering it um, through the front making sure there's not any huge you know dark patches and it kind of is a little bit more gradient I'm gonna hold the brush like standing it up and I'm just gonna go in and blend it out you kinda wanna blend it so that it's just not um, you know a harsh line or a line of demarcation you want the dark roots to help it blend but you don't want it to look weird or crazy you know what I mean and my baby hair did bleach and this is what I have left um, you guys seen I poured like three bowls of it pretty much and I used all of it 
Now I'm going to go ahead and take the wig over to the sink. Pretty much I processed the entire wig, um, or applied the bleach rather. I went ahead and cleaned up my kitchen, cleaned up my area a little bit, um, you know, did the dishes, cleaned out the sink. And by the time I did that, I immediately went and grabbed the wig and put it in the sink. You guys just seen how it looks when you rinse it out. Um, it just rinsed out really nicely and the curls are still here, which is a true test to whether the hair is amazing or not. Really, really pleased with the way this worked out. I'm going to use this Nexus Humectris Conditioner as my deep conditioner and the Ion Shampoo um, as my purple shampoo. Purple shampoo always works great. And then I'm just going to use that simple um, Tresemme Moisturizing Conditioner as my leave-in. Um, you never really know unless you've used the hair before how the hair is going to hold up after you process it with bleach. Um, because it is such a harsh process. So I wanted to put a heavy conditioner and that's why I chose the Tresemme. Now I'm kind of just kind of showing you guys exactly what the hair looks like before I go ahead and style it. Um, I went ahead and added these, this elastic band off camera and I'm going in and removing um, one of the combs. This wig did come with four combs. There are three in the front or it's pretty much just one in the center, um, one on each side and one on the back right above the adjustable straps. I only took the one off of the center. I also added powder all over the front portion of the lace and I'm cutting off the excess lace in the back of the wig. Because it's going to definitely be super hard to get that off with the wig on. Also adjusted the straps as tight as they can go. And now the true test is to put it on and see how it fits. This fits amazing. I love the way the hair came out. I definitely was nervous because you just never know. If I would have not kept the dark root, it definitely would have not um, been this easy to you know work with. Especially with my complexion. So from here, I'm just going to pull the hair back and cut off the excess lace. You guys know the drill. There isn't a rhyme or reason, or rhyme or reason I'm sorry, of how to cut the lace off. Just cut, you know, where you see lace and there is no black dots or there's no hair. Cut that. It's simple. Take your time and, you know, cut until you get it right. And I did the other side off of camera. I also um, trimmed the baby hair down and swooped it off camera. I just used free spray to bond the wig down. Got to really glue gel in the color black to swoop the baby hair. And it makes it look really good. So I hope you guys can see how amazing that hairline looks. It looks super duper good. I'm going to do a half up, half down. So all I need is a little bit of water. Um, also, to start this this hair off camera while it was still wet I used that Tresemme moisturizing conditioner I also added a, just a little bit of my wet I'll have that and everything else linked down below so that when it dried it's about maybe 80% dry at this point um, it was already you know really nice you guys seen the curls are already defined I just wanted to make sure that they didn't get frizzy um, especially with all the processing and I was completely happy with everything um, so when I went ahead and did the ponytail, all I needed was a little bit of water because there was already product in the hair. And this is what the half up, half down looks like. Super gorgeous. But to amp it up to the next level, I just take a little piece of the hair from the ponytail, wrap it around, and secure it with a um, hair tie. If I did not mention, this Peruvian deep curly hair comes from DY Hair 777. They gave me a coupon for you guys. It's just simply Ashley, and you'll get money off at checkout. And yeah, I hope you guys can see how good, 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 amazing this wig is. Amazing hairline, super lit. Curls came back after all that bleaching. This wig is a must have for the holiday season. Okay, so the recap or the rundown of what happened with this wig is. I originally was like, oh, they're going to send me a full lace wig. I really want to do something really nice with it and add some fun to it. So I was going to do some blonde highlights. And then I get to the kitchen. I set everything up. And boom, I decided to just go blonde all the way. Now, of course, I kept the dark root. Um, after I washed it, I kind of debated as to whether I should go and um, tone it. And I opted to not tone it, and now that it is dry, I'm gonna tone it. And that's kind of the tricky thing about um, hair. After you've bleached it, um, and you go in with the shampoo and your conditioner, you kind of feel like this is perfect. Which, if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of seen the video, um, and it looks amazing. But once it dries, you kind of see the true color and what it is. And this looks great. I absolutely love it. But I kind of want to take the yellow 
tone out just a little bit and soften it up just so that when I don't have on makeup it'll still look good on my skin so I'll probably just keep it simple and go with a Wella T18 toner um, but you know I like to switch it up and this one definitely is a fun color um, I'm absolutely in love with the wig if you see the hairline I did nothing to it except for make the baby hair I did trim the baby hair shorter because it was like long as you guys seen in the video but I didn't pluck or tweeze or anything Thing. So this one came nicely pre-plucked and everything turned out amazing. And again, this one came from DY Hair 777. They also gave me this nice bag. So I really wanted to show you guys the wig came um, in this bag and in this bag was this bag. And of course the wig was like wrapped nicely so that it was protected and the curls were protected and everything was inside the bag. I believe they included a free gift like some lashes or something like that, but I don't know. I think one of my kids took it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.